Good morning, world. We're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Man, oh man, that wind is out there blowing. She's windy today. Y'all thought I was done for last video. People saying I got the, the COVID or whatever. Man, one good day of rest and Boy, I'm back at it 100%. Feels like a million bucks again. Now, last week's video, we reused our link bars from the old Datsun from back in the day. We used uh, some very simple stuff, some tabs we had kind of trimmed to fit. We set this baby up with proper geometries, instant centers, pinion angles, all kinds of technicals, okay? And I know I put some of you to sleep, but it's part of it, guys. How do you expect to do it right? And then as soon as I, you know, if I do skip it, then someone's going to be mad at me. I skipped it, so I had to teach it. And I'm glad I've seen people saying it really helped. So for those who it did help, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, now, this week, we're going we're gonna to take this baby to Gossip City. Speaking of last week's video, one thing I never showed here, guys. This old magic number here, 43 and 3 quarter. That's where we want our axle, so she's centered up on that sweet U-Haul box, and that baby just looks good on here. And you can see how far forward we are here. Right there's where we set half travel. We're not gonna get into that too much. The point I'm trying to show you is, or what I'm gonna say is, let's measure it and see where we landed, because I never measured that to see if all of our calculating was correct. Touch her right up there. Now, I don't know how well y'all's eagle eye can see that, but that sure as hell looks like 43 and three quarter to me. Oh, she matches, baby. Hot damn, when you're good, you're good. You know what I mean? It ain't good. It's not being good. It's being patient, guys. Being patient and persistent. You got to be PP to get stuff done correctly. So besides taking her to Gusset City, uh, we got a few other things we're going to try to do. Well, this baby needs some airbags so we can get her going up and down. She's going to need some shocks where we can dampen the up and down situation. And I may see a spot for another cross member. Hell, who knows? And we may be able to get some more done. I don't know, guys. You know I always just fire from the hip, see what we can get done. Uh, I think we're going to start with some airbag action right out the gate. That old Sharpie mark, well, she indicates where we want that airbag to land. So that's why you need to watch last week's video if you haven't, because... Well, you'll see how we know that that needs to go there. And if you don't care enough, just know that I know it needs to go there. We're going to get her on there, baby. Let's pull those lower bars out. Got that one out. Get, get her twin sister over here. Guys, these bolts, they slid in and out just like a, well, after a good night of Taco Bell. Just slide right out of you. Speaking of which, I had Sonic for lunch, and I think she's about to catch up to me. Uh, let's line these up with some bolts here. Oh, line up good. The speed square never lies, baby. Boy, how many damn markers I got out here? All of them. I got all of them. Mark center. Take a spring-loaded punch here to take the guesswork out of drilling. Drill us a pilot hole. May have forgot to mark the back side. It's all right. See how we do here. I can see through her anyhow. I'll take this tungsten. I'll shove it in my head. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pull it out of my mouth. 
Ta-da! For my next magic trick, I'll pass it straight through this link bar. Straight through it. it it's gonna go straight, straight through it. Uh-huh. Point is, I may have bad aim, but I got good drilling. We're gonna drill it out to whatever this is. How about a three quarter inch hole? Boy, what in the hell am I doing? I went. <laughs> oh man, thinking with my butt again. <laughs> Guys, I bought stuff to sleeve uh, with this 9 16 bolt and I meant to get something I could sleeve it for a 3 8 bolt, so. That's gonna be a little big for a 3 8 bolt. I don't wanna hear a single person make a throw the hot dog down a you know what joke in the comments neither. I know someone was thinking it. Well, 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 who remembers these baby bushings we bought? Almost two inch exactly. Perfect for a 3 8 bolt. We bought those accidentally for a reason. Slide the old magnet underneath there and drop her in from the top. And looky there. Boy, almost like that's meant to be or something. Get these ready for the old TIG table. Now if you ain't got a TIG welder, maybe just take her to a little bit bigger than half inch where it ain't a snug fit, where you got a little gap around there. And then, whoop, with the MIG welder, you got a place for that wire to go. You can still do her with MIG, y'all. I've just got to get better at TIG welding. The only way you get better is to practice. So by golly, we're going to practice. Little Pike County spit shine. Let's see if we can do any good here. We're gonna do that side no filler, just kind of doing a little butt fusing. She sure is loud. So there's filler, and then there's no filler. Man, that TIG welding's awesome. I don't know why I let that thing sit for almost a year and a half. You wanna see why I gotta get good at TIG welding? I'll show you the, the God's honest reason why I've gotta get good now. I kind of whipped that up for my wife for Valentine's Day. I am. That, guys, I've seen three-year-olds TIG weld better than that. And that silicone bronze, I am, boy, I just, I butchered it. And I, I gave this to her still, and I just told her that she deserves a better looking heart than that because she does. So there's my motivation to, to get better, to give her a heart that's worthy of a shelf. Yes, sir, we can do better than that, I do believe. Come on, be good to us. Oh, baby. I never explained what we're doing here, so we'll just keep keeping on, and once we get her built, maybe I'll tell you what we got going on here. I will tell you, we need some of this and one of these. Basically, we're putting that there, but first we need a lift kit. Ho, oh, ho, oh, I wonder how much that evolution saw can handle. She says damn near six inch if we've got a... 15 inch blade. We only got a 14 inch blade, but we're gonna see what we can do here. We're aiming for a two inch piece here, but how unsafe of me, guys. These babies make me look good and they make my eye vision good, but I don't know that they're very safe. Well, 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 don't worry about that. Mr. Bo sent me out some uh, safety glasses that are my, my tinted rose color with some side shields and well, now we're safe, aren't we? We got these and a couple other in our newest mail time video. So if you watch those, it should be posted by now. So go check that out on the second channel. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh yeah. Boy, that thing right there is just straighter than John Wayne filming a Western with a beer in one hand and a steak in the other. That's as straight as can be, guys. Just amazing. 
perfect two inch circle all the way around. I can eagle eye that baby right there and tell you she's perfect. Play connect the dots here. And we need to cut this chunk out. Backside two. Take her to Plasma Town. She's still a lot faster than the old slice and dice. Oh, baby. Yes, sir, I like that. You can see what in the lift kit we're doing here. Wire wheeled our plate there and we're gonna go marry these two together. She's nice and toasty, but she's full tigged on the outside there. So I ain't even gonna worry about the inside guys. Gotta check her for side to side. Oh, she's big time off. Boy, this baby's tacked up. She's leveled up. Now it's just time to weld it up. I can already tell I'm liking how those are looking. Oh, you dang right, baby. We got them on there. They're just looking tidy. <laughs> Number two's knocked out. Guys, I am digging these. We're gonna clean up that frame before we put those back in because next we're gonna figure out the top mounts and they're a little snug or they're gonna be snug anyhow. Well, I don't know what looks better. These glasses or the MIG TIG combo, baby. Or third, them new balances. Can't forget them babies. There we go. Before we slam down that doodaddy, we're gonna uh, put our collapsed airbag. And you can see how that bottom plate or the top plate kind of sucks in and this baby balloons out. That's where our little riser or little lift kit down there comes into play. Let's take her bolt and her bag, get her on. Bring her up from the bottom side. There we go, baby. We're gonna index her with our air fitting or air plug right there towards the back. So here's where we're gonna see how close it gets to the frame because I should have, but I did not do any measuring for that. I just kinda, well, y'all know what I did. I used that eagle eye. And eagle eye we trust. gonna be close oh she's good for a quarter inch gap there or if you want to put that in pot county terms boy howdy we nailed it now we can figure out the top mounts so yesterday evening i called my buddy taylor or text him said hey what do you got for little plates and uh, he brought over the ones we use for the bottom i think these ones here are the size we need for the top so guys these things are cheap if you're gonna do air ride stuff buy these pre-cut y'all seen me cut them by hand what a headache when you can spend a few buckaroos online and get them shipped to your door. Luckily, old Top Stitch Taylor had them and he brought them over. So uh, this this pipe here, I guess I could have measured that for y'all. That's just four and a half inch OD right there. Them little plates and uh, that tubing, perfect for building upper and lower cups. What's a cup, you ask? Only cup you know keeps your old cold beer in it. Or the only cup you know protects your crotch from a fastball. Don't worry. Old Professor Poudin can break down what a cup is for you. Usually you take a plate like this, you weld you a half inch nut right there. Then you take your tubing, you cut it to whatever length you need for the proper spacing. You put that to that, you weld it. And then in the front, usually where your shot comes up through, waller that baby out to like a half inch hole. Then you cut you a piece of all thread thread it into this nut, and then you stick that up where your coil goes. So this bolts on your airbag, then that slides up in your coil pocket, that all thread sticks up through there, puts you a washer, puts you a nut, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You got a cup up front holding your airbag in place. 
11 out of 10 times you're going to use that setup where a, a coil spring used to go. So if you're in a torsion bar setup and everything, probably ain't going to work for you. I don't like all threads, so I usually measure and then get the proper size bolt where you just see a bolt head instead of a piece of all thread. All thread may look a little tacky. You know who else uses them cups besides the air ride people? The people who build them donks. You dang right, most of them just got a big old piece of pipe between the coil and the frame. It's called a lift kit, baby. <laughs> I use the cup on the back of my truck, actually. Maybe you can see it right there. I've never seen anyone else use a cup on the rear of a truck suspension. I ain't saying I'm the first to do it. I just ain't synced it yet. What are you doing, buddy? Who are you? Did Morsky send you? Do you know Duff? You belong to somebody, don't you? I got so excited he peed, I do that sometimes. You're a pretty puppy, somebody's looking for you. I got a civil duty to get someone their puppy back now, so we interrupt this program for Puddin's Puppy Rescue. Oh, you're a good puppy, huh? And another satisfied customer here at the old puppy rescue. I don't remember what we were talking about. I think I was gonna say maybe people put pipe then they bend all these crazy tubes to it to hold it. That just ain't my style. Uh, I'm not talking crap on you guys because you'll easily bend up a cage to put me in and then I can't get out because I some of y'all got some crazy bending skills. Uh, what I'm trying to tell you is with a little imagination a welder, some pipe and some plates, you can whip up some pretty cool mounts. Uh, let's look at our top mount. I just kind of do the O face. Sheet threads right there. I think we can get away with just some quarter inch plate, guys. Boy, we could keep that real simple. Get the old butt pad for this one. Nine sixteenths. That back there looks like an inch and nine sixteenths. We're gonna saddle the frame three inches up. First side, I said nine sixteenths. The buck 80 away from it, I said an inch and nine sixteenths. We can connect them, that's the angle we need. We did pretty good there. Eagle Eye says she's about seven degrees. Blow your chips all over your crate motor. We're gonna tune her into seven degrees and hopefully the Eagle Eye got that measurement right. We're about to give this baby the old evolution. We're gonna evolve her ass into the piece we need. <laughs> yeah, look, looky there. Damn near perfect. This puppy's a little warm and she's looking a little rough. But I promise we're on the start of something beautiful here and uh, we're going to pick her back up in the morning because I'm going to go in and spend some time with these girls this evening. I done got my bow specials on, drank a pot of coffee. I'm ready to get buck nasty, guys. <laughs> my energy levels are spiked. I feel like I could run a marathon backwards. I didn't say I'd win the damn thing, though. Uh, I installed her a little trim down piece of pipe. She just kind of sat in place here, but looky there. You could run an extension down and get them bolts, so we could just weld that on like that and she wouldn't look too shabby. Now I've sat here and stared at her and of course I can't, I can't leave it that simple, so let's pull that out of there and get to doing some trimming. You're coming with me? Probably gonna mess this thing up where it ain't even no good. I kinda want this thing to do like an oblong swoop. That's an oblong swoop if you didn't know that. <laughs> Fold this puppy in half. And kind of trace her out the shape we think we're after anyhow. Then we're gonna give her a little trim job here. You already know we're doing both sides. Let's get that old plasma cutter.
That's what I was trying to do. Looks like the old Dancing King finally made himself a crown, don't it? You like that? Hey, that thing's still warm up there, by the way. I am not good at cutting that round pipe by hand. I definitely slipped a little here. Uh-huh. We're gonna make a filler plate now and we're gonna hope this design works out because if it don't, well, we get to make that whole pipe piece again and this will just be a lost dream out there floating around in no, no man's land. What I'm saying is I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to them bolts. <laughs> We did some of these last video, and uh, that didn't turn out too good for us, did it? She finally gave, there's the magic smoke. Holy crap. Guys, that wind is blowing. It just took our box, blew her straight off the concrete. All right, Mother Nature, I'm pretty late back till you start messing with my damn yeehaws. Now we got a problem. Start messing my yeehaws, you better be ready to throw down or something. Work too damn hard chasing these things down for the damn wind to just take it. Uh-huh. Over my damn dead body. That's got a built-in spring return as you just seen. <laughs> I ain't even gonna tell you guys what I thought of when I just seen that. The number three, obviously. <laughs> Quick clean up on that. And we're gonna come over here to the old treasure chest and the 20 ton press, baby. Man, something's about to fight anyhow. <laughs> the old inch and a half special out. Just put that baby together, put her in the press. See that little curve it puts in there? Usually I'll flip it over and push that back out, but for this, that may look good on there. Yep, I'm gonna leave it. I kind of trimmed on that till I'm happy with the fit up. There, there's a little gap of source in there. I'm actually gonna slice that right there and add a gap. Let's say you burn that baby in and you're not happy with that weld because it's uglier than dog poop. Well, that's why we got a grinder and paint, baby. It'll make you the welder you ain't. So the good thing is that looks pretty damn awesome. Now the bad thing is I'm pretty sure we got about a 0% chance of getting our bolt started through there. <laughs> oh, it'd be close, but we ain't getting no socket down in there. I ain't surprised, guys. Now we get to knock a big old radius off the bottom here. This is how to overly complicate building the upper mount, 101. Bet we can start a bolt there. Oh, she'll work all right. Well, I knocked out that second side quite a bit quicker than the first side. Uh, she's full welded in there. We got her looking all pretty. Let's uh, sit her on the plate and get her welded up.
Yeah, look pretty good. You like my old wind block here? Huh? That old Dewalt air deflector. A little more TIG practice going on. Trying to take that inside without a flexi head. Well, she had whooped me pretty good, so we're just gonna cheat, all right? I'll, I'll still run that MIG. I ain't scared. You ever heard peanut butter on the inside, jelly on the out? I Means you got like purple candy paint on the outside and you've got like a nice brown leather interior, peanut butter and jelly. Well, we got, we got TIG on the outside and MIG on the end. That means we TIG that outside and then we MIG that in. Oh, and now we gotta do a whole nother side, guys. And this is taking hours when we could have just welded that pipe on first thing this morning and already been probably working on shock mounts. Easy, but she wouldn't look as good as that piece is there. Let me get the other one knocked out, guys. Oh, man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Here I am, sailing right along, just hauling butt. Hauling butt to get this second one done. Just got her TIG welded up. Yeah, I did. All the way around, in fact, full circle. Went to weld the inside and I uh, noticed something. Oh man. I, uh, I may have forgot to cut the radius out on this. Yeah, that was smart. Now I get to blow those out with a plasma and see if we can clean her, clean her up good or not. Fun stuff, guys. The old thinking with your ass instead of your brain, it'll get you every time. So after a plasma and a die grinder with some carbides and sanding wheels and uh, little die grinders and everything else, we'll get her pretty close, guys. She ain't gonna look as good as if we wouldn't have made a mistake, but you can't learn from a mistake unless you make a mistake. I'm Mr. Optimistic. Look who it is, folks. Old Hot Rod decided to join us. She's got old Speedy out. Let's get this baby bolted on. Y'all thought that speed hole was worthless, but look at that two finger technique right there, baby. Drop her down. Oh, baby. Stand on that old back piece right there. You're not heavy enough, I don't think. Needs a little extra weight to drop. Well, if you can't stand on it, can you tack it for me? You mean jump? No, tack weld it. I don't think she wants to tack it either. What does that mean? A weld it? Yeah, you want to weld it? I think I'll pass. <laughs> Hard pass by hot rod. She ain't doing no welding. She don't get paid enough for this crap, y'all. <laughs> I need someone to stand on that where I can tack this. Or we need something really heavy we can put on it. Because she only weighs damn 40 pounds. There she went on speedy. <laughs> huh? Hank weighs a little more than El Ray does. So look. Packed up. Time to weld her up. Yeah, baby. I said, love you, drive safe. She's burning in and cooling off, guys. Not a bad way to waste a day building some mounts that I don't even like how they look. Oh, looky there. She's got her bibs on, y'all. <laughs> We'll be back on her in the morning. Uh, boy, I got something sit, sitting outside. I can't wait to show you guys. Valentine's Day. Oh, look at those. I don't even want to put them on. But they're supposed to look like. Here's me after having them for two days. <laughs> Woo! 
Don't worry. If y'all are jealous of that old t-shirt weather, uh, that ain't here no more. Damn 30 degrees out now. Still pretty toasty in this old shop. Them old cinder blocks just hold that heat, baby. That's a good thing and a bad thing. You're like, oh, that's nice in the winter. Well, guess what? It holds it in the summer, too. This thing, you could damn, you could powder coat for a living out of this shop once it gets warmed up. That's right. If it's 100 degrees outside, it's usually a buck 20 in here. You just, you just cook, you know, no big deal. Now, speaking of heat, here's our mounts. Guys, I like the way they look a little more today. I think I need a little break from them. Uh, and we put the heat in those puppies yesterday between all the TIG and the Megan, the plasma cut and the whole sawing. Them babies, they were toasty. I like the way they look today. I still can't say they were worth all the extra work. <laughs> That's why I don't do full blown projects, guys, because I just can't leave the crap alone. It's like, hey, we can cut that straight. Or we can add this radius. This one takes twice the time. We'll do it that way. Hell, yeah, it's the way I've always been. We don't ever take that easy road. Unless we're doing some wheel it runs and then you'll see me rig some crap up. <laughs> I'm happier with these today. Uh, now the bad side to being happy with these and everything we got going on, we've got to make some changes, guys. That's right. Everyone kept suggesting I turn it into a dually. I turn it into a dually, and guess what? Oh, by the way, we want to see you turn it into a dually. And I said, I ain't gonna turn it into no damn dually. Then the internet said, we want to see you turn it into a dually. And y'all know I'm here for my subscribers. So let me do a quick little mock-up and we're gonna look, we're gonna take a gander at what we're gonna have to change to make this work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think we're gonna need some special adapters. Oh boy, howdy. This thing's gonna look good as a dually. Good, G-U-D, good. I don't know if y'all are ready for this. I don't think you can handle it. That don't much matter because y'all know I'm full of baloney anyways. Take a look at this. Right there's where we did our Pot County slag removal. Boom, baby! <laughs> We're just gonna, we're gonna go all out, guys. We're gonna go for some 24s in the back. How's that? I try to mock up the front one, but uh, well, it's bigger than the whole front of the truck. That damn thing's bigger than the fender. <laughs> Those things are freaking massive. So I think we're gonna have to do a new back calf. Each side's two foot wide, so by the time we put, that's a total of four foot just in tires. So yeah, we're probably gonna have to narrow this frame to about just eight inches wide. I don't think we're gonna have enough notch for those things to tuck. And yeah, y'all know I'm full of crap. Those are for Wheel Hop Wilma, guys. Uh, my wheels and tires finally came in. Not that I'm in a hurry for the damn things. We ain't even close to starting on it. But the company who sells these wheels and tires, let's just say I respect their style. So last Black Friday, uh, this last year, they said, we ain't raised our prices in a couple of years with all this COVID, you know, stuff going on. So here's our Black Friday special. You better order these puppies now before we raise our prices. And I said, boy, that sounds like some, some deal making advertising I would do. And I also said, hell, I better get them things ordered before they raise their prices. So I did, and whoa, baby, here they are. Don't get too excited. Uh, it's probably gonna be another year before we can even mess with the damn load star, cause, well, stuff takes time and money. If I was putting these on this little Datsun, I'd just turn her into a donk anyhow. Dually donk Datsun. As fun as they are to sit here and look at, all this really means is now I gotta find a place to store these damn things. And they're very small. They barely take up any, hardly at all. Subtract no footprint from your shop. These things are, they're tiny, spacious. Oh, sounds like they got babies in them for that extra balance. Hey guys. Uh, so, the people who want to see something besides mini truck stuff, just understand this. When we get this thing running, driving, rebuilt motor, five speed, all the way done where I'm happy with it, the grand total on this full project with new air ride and everything's probably going to total out less than half of what I paid just for these wheels. That's why we like our mini trucks. Y'all ready to go to Gusset City? Or what, baby? 
Long story short, if a link bar attaches to a point, we're going to gusset it. So we're going to start right here on our uppers. Somebody sent me out some RAM board for making templates, and man, does it work good. And we got about 150 square foot worth here. That's a lot of template. Two and three eighths. Of course, we'll just kind of eagle eye that length down there. And we'll get close or we won't. That's about all of our options. Man, this stuff's easy to work with. It's rigid, but flexible. It's tough, but sensitive. Slightly unpredictable, but always dependable. Maybe right, right there. This really is good stuff though, guys. I should have, one of them things I should have got some uh, a long time ago. Boy, you take that old grinder wheel and that eagle eye, and you can just make some beautiful templates, y'all. I'm telling you, I'd be, I'd be as lost as eight day clock without one of these little four inch cutoff wheels for radiuses. I know some of you parents let your kids watch, and that's right here, kids, why you gotta do good in school, all right? You gotta pay attention to coloring and everything. One day you may need to cut out some templates for the back of your bag. Dotson 620 with the U-Haul box. So pay attention, kiddos. Need to decide what size hole we're gonna put there, and yes, we're gonna dimple dye it. Dag nab it, I done heated up and messed up my new template. You know what they say though, if you can't handle the heat, get the hell out of Puddin's Fab Shop, baby. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll do a one incher right there. Seen a few people ask what plasma cutter I have. Underneath this pile of trucker hats and welding sleeves and tigging gloves, we've got the beautiful Hypertherm Powermax 45. She's a plasma cutting machine, baby. These things are not cheap. I bought mine used. I looked for one for a long time. Finally settled for a Hypertherm Powermax 35. And like a week later, a 45 popped up. Long story short, I ended up with it. Uh, so happy I bought it and highly recommended. The 35 will get you by, but if you plan on doing a lot of this quarter inch stuff, just go ahead and, you know, splurge a little bit, all right? Reward yourself for all your hard work and get you one of them 45s. You'll be happy you did it. But you do not have to have one of these to do good work, guys. My whole truck chassis, 100% was built with the slice and dice. That's a $59 cutoff, whatever. <laughs> Get me all worked up. Damn, $59 grinder, all right? A lot of cutoff wheels and a lot, a lot, a lot of motivation. She's ready for the press. Good morning, world. That's how you lose all the heat in your shop. We gotta pay attention, so we need that a certain way, which means we need that going down. Oh, an inch and a half will not go in a one inch hole, guaranteed. <laughs> we need that, there we go, going down in there, that away. We got our crown in that away, we got our crown in that away. No bueno. Piece of flat plate, lay that baby there, turn that piece upside down. You can do her by hand. That takes out, whoa, baby, most of it anyhow. I'm gonna weld these up. I'm gonna snug us a nut on there. Now, if you have a brand new four link and brand new bushings, guys, do not weld that with your bushings in there. Find the right socket length, find something to put in there. Don't weld with new bushings. We're gonna replace these bushings, so I don't care if they catch on fire or not. You already know I'm good at catching fires. That old knee saver deluxe. Take it to the inside now, y'all. Four hops this time. Right foot, your ass. Left foot, your ass. Freeze. 
Oh, hell, it's time to will. Slap a couple reference marks up here too. We line up our marks. She starts to bend right there and on this side over here. So we're gonna just try to whoop, match that angle, get the big left tapper. This side fits up real good. This side will love tap after a couple tacks. Just gotta work that baby and let it know you're the damn boss around here. Slight left tap up front. Perfect. Slight left tap right on the peak. Perfect. Little Pot County pro tip. Them bigger tacks, grind them out a little bit. That way your will don't, you know, bubble gum up right there. Take her for a ride on this. With all this quarter inch and this being box, we don't want it to flex. There's still a really good chance it may flex, guys, so better safe than sorry. I think we're gonna put a little gusset back here. As mayor of Gusset City, I'll approve this message. Something like that. Since we ain't gonna box the whole thing, we're just gonna do it out some flimsy uh, quarter inch. Oh, she's welded. She's all welded up. Started uh, welding up these down here. Start getting this side too. I wonder how much this weighs. If you could cut right up here where all of our quarter inch fish plates start, and then say cut like four inches of that, take that bar off, cut like four inches here. How much that one chunk right there weighs? I bet it's heavier than y'all think it is. I bet you'd shit your britches if you found out. There's a lot going on there, but she's stout. <laughs> Next, we're gonna hop to the top of the old rear end there, get her nice and sturdy. She may be a little tricky. We're gonna start with folding a piece of this in half and we're just gonna start trimming and shaping away and maybe we'll get something and maybe we won't. Maybe. My damn legs are trapped and I'm dropping scissors and crap. Come on. Ooh. Well, I definitely missed here, so let's just, whoop. There we go. That's how you do that and don't overcomplicate it. <laughs> Two of them coming right up. Uh, speaking of right up, we're using all of our scrap right up on this project, guys. A lot of that, believe it or not, is scrap metal. Now she's a work of art. I'm in a good mood today. You would have thought my wife gave me something besides just new balances, but it's all I got. What I mean by that is uh, chocolate makes me really happy. You would have thought I got uh, shoes and chocolate. Damn delivery lady jamming out. Old truck's got a hog cam in it, don't it? Got a three quarter racing cam. Damn old RV cam up in that old delivery rig. Couple ninja stars right there, baby. Swap my nut up here. That's right, I only got one 9 16 nut. Uh, so got her snugged up. Gonna weld this baby up. That right there is exactly what you're after. You know, lose your gas coverage somehow and a crappy weld. That's better. Got our gussets. Well, I know what y'all's thinking. 
Oh, you took the easy road. There ain't no speed holes or gussets on that one, you old lazy thing, you. <laughs> no one probably thinks that. I think that about myself, which is why I uh, projected onto y'all. <laughs> so how can we dress that up? Just a hair, a smidge. Some scrap here. We cut this out of the Yeehaw bumper. She's good. She got a little hot rod influence to her. That's good, cause this baby here's a hot rod. Four cylinders, a whip ass. That's her pole hook, baby, for when we go mudding and get stuck. Just strap her right there, she'll pull. Speaking of stuck, yeah. Them speed holes are multiplying. Speaking of which, we got one little set of brackets left. She's, damn it, two minute cross me. There they are. Speaking of in the way, last couple episodes. Hey, Puddin, why does that logo keep popping up? Where do you hide them back there? That, kind of like the Lodestar wheels, was another big secret. And I guess since we're showing that and showing some other stuff, maybe I'll show it. So she's been hid right here the whole time, guys, right here at the end of death row. If we just zoom over here. Here it is, guys, and I'll let my editor know uh, to not put the logo there this time because they have very strict assignment, you know. If you see that thing, cover it. I hope that answers some of y'all's questions. Speaking of death row, who wants to see this thing lifted and turned into a pickup truck? Little El Camino. This thing had the stuck motor. I, I looked at it the other day and I was like, she's got some redneck potential. Uh, and also, if you look over that way, you can't see a windshield of an orange Datsun. But that ain't really that secret. It's just an orange Datsun y'all ain't seen yet. So many projects, so little time. Let's get these lowers gusseted. Three inch. Let's do by three and three quarter. Gotta start with a square corner anyhow. Eagle Eye says three and a quarter, so we're gonna go inch and five eighths, meter in the middle. We're gonna do it an inch and a quarter. We're gonna just be a little different. There we go. Hot potato. Yes, you seen that right. I tried to put that on there. <laughs> That's a little, another little pro tip. Inch and a quarter coming right up. Dead nuts, three inches. Just like this old socket right here, who's a perfect fit. Look at that. She'll just hold herself right there. Little C clamp action there. Try to knock the dust and a trans fluid off this old thing. <laughs> yeah, we're still recovering from, from that as you can see. Don't worry though, we're recovering better than that grasshopper is. Let's see if she ate her Wheaties this morning. There we go. We'll get her in the pot county break anyhow. We'll take it. Hey, we forgot one side. I ain't saying I'm extremely happy with how that just turned out. <laughs> But I damn sure ain't mad at it. We got one gusset left, guys. This little fella right here. 
And underneath this, there's that. We're gonna take this piece and slide her right up there. Y'all know what we're doing here, okay? It's kind of hard to show it. Can I just put her in there and weld it? There we go, baby. Everything on this side. Go, go, go. Getting old. She's all welded up, except for our first gussets we did and the bottom gusset, but she's full welded. Uh, Rear end all done. Nope. We'll be back on our own. Hey, catch, catch my breath there. In the morning, we'll get that side caught up and then we gotta put a little dampening. Uh, we need shocks. My brain ain't working. I'm in hyper speed mode, guys. Uh, today's L Ray's birthday. Tomorrow, my middle daughter, KK, she's got all day, damn water running down my chin. Uh, all day volleyball tournament up in the city, so we gotta go there. And then Sunday is uh, Hank, my oldest daughter's birthday. So, yeah, to say I have no time is uh, saying it nicely, but shockingly enough, we still need to dampen this thing and get some shocks on it. So I'm trying to cheat here. You see this? That's a caster plate where I used to work. They throw these things out. And look at that, baby. That's damn near a shock tab right there if I've ever seen one. In fact, there's about four of them and we ain't got to cut and radius and drill holes. It does have to work for us right there. Oh, baby. Man, look at the back of this old Datsun. She is coming together, guys. Airbags are on. Got her all set back down. This thing is full welded up. Okay, I got the passenger side here all caught up, so everything's matching. I even got her on the old ball valve to the T. I drilled a hole back there, so I got a 90 there. Didn't have a 90 for this side, so she's half pinched off. So she probably inflates half as fast. We're fixing to find out anyhow. Don't worry about why that tow roll is back there, or right there. We ain't been in the back moving stuff around, hauling more stuff in or nothing. Oh, baby, look at her go. She looks good, guys. I think she's gonna ride damn good. And if she don't ride good, she's gonna look good doing it, even though you can't see, because it's gonna be underneath the big old U-Haul box. <laughs> she needs a little weight on the back. Couple new balances worth. So I'm gonna weld some gussets in between these. We gotta space them out quite a bit. I'll show you why whenever we get to it. Got her trimmed where I want it. So we'll put her on a bolt, slide her there. We're gonna trace her over and make sure she's an exact match there. Take that old long special edition half incher there. And look at that. That's a pot county jig. Just get you a C clamp and she's ready to go. There we go, baby. She's perfect. Now, speaking of damn pot county, how many warners does it take to change a damn <laughs> headlight, huh? I'm trying to work. Y'all's over here playing hopscotch on this damn thing. You come over here with your little feminine fingers and get this one in here. Oh, they need girly fingers. That's my cue. Watch this. Boop. <laughs> No, no, we need it in, in there. there. Oh. <laughs> you just undo it? Got a little distracted there. We're going to redo this, and I'm going to push it up against this. Now we're going to clamp it. Bolt's nice and straight. And, oh, did I mention we recycled these? Here at Puddin's Recycling Center, we like to use as many templates as we can. So the one that worked for our lowers on their axle... They're gonna work for these too. Got her tacked up here in the old jig fixture. Oh, told you that old bolt was butter. <laughs> She's ready to weld. Hey, Dad. Yeah. You wanna come weld it? Yep. Show them why they used to call you Dime Stack Jimmy, yep. or you want me to get it? Yeah, you can get it. All right. 
Dad ain't trying to make me look bad on my own fabrication video. I'll tell you who won't make me look bad. My sister changing the headlight. <laughs> Means I was a good dad. Showed my kids what they needed to do. <laughs> That is way too dark. Too dark? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm not the real female. You need my little bitch fingers yeah. again? <laughs> Get her out the jig. Look at that, y'all. She's just, she's ready to do her job and look good doing it. Gonna use old Pusher Deluxe here. Get this metal sleeve out this bushing, maybe. There we go. We are gonna have to do some spacers for this, but for tonight, it's just gonna get a couple washers. It's gonna mock these up on that rear end. Uh, they may be a little too wide, slightly. <laughs> uh, that's all right, we don't have the upper shock studs anyhow, and if I'm out here too much later, uh, Hot Rod's probably gonna fire me as being best dad in the world, and wife's probably gonna divorce me, so I better get my butt in the house anyhow. Y'all know she ain't gonna leave this, all right? But better still get in. Looks like my old Pot County shock retainer gave out there. What the hell? Boy, that wind's outside just cooking it. When I whipped these up the other day, I thought we'd just kind of slap them right here. Our shock's hitting that gusset, and we ain't even at the angle we need there. And that's what happens when you wing it and ding it sometimes. Sometimes you just, you don't get her right. Thought we may be able to squeeze them in today and we don't uh, have quite enough time. So I don't want to rush it and put something on there I'm not happy with because so far I'm very happy with how all this and how she's turning out. She looks strong and she looks like she's got plenty of support. Speaking of support, you guys always support with the with the merchandise sales and me and my family thank you for that. We've been getting a lot of questions when we're going to restock on stuff and this coming up week, I believe we're supposed to have quite a bit of stuff in, including hoodies. That's right, baby. Puddin's Fab Shop hoodies coming in hot. You better get you one, that way you stay nice and toasty. Now that winter's damn near gone, I'll finally have some for you. <laughs> I'm hoping those things sell because I think we ordered quite a bit. I, guys, there's so much going on. I don't even have a place to store all the hoodies I bought. I'm trying to figure that out as we speak. Where the hell am I gonna put these things? I bought another vehicle yesterday. Uh, stuff's just stacking up in the back. Uh, anyhow, we appreciate everyone who is doing that and chooses to do that. And I don't appreciate these old clanking doors here. They're about ready for a roundhouse. Man, polishes off his old new balances, kicking down garage doors. That'd be across the top of the old Pot County Tribute. Keep clanking, you're gonna find out. I've got enough vehicles for content for a good while, uh, but I just wanna be able to keep pushing on this thing, so I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you, you're learning a little something, uh, or at least uh, still enjoy what you're watching anyhow. Uh, I couldn't do it without you guys. So me and my family, we thank you guys once again. Uh, I'm on the Instagrammer. Speaking of merchandise and our little Datsun build, I have a little sample here. Yeah, she looked good? I think so. That's a little sample of what's to come, okay, with this thing. She is gonna get a color change and we're gonna do a full uh, change up on the box. It ain't gonna be a Yeehaw, guys. I'm gonna brand every Every little one of these trucks I can find, if I can find more, I'll come up with a fun brand for each one of them. Maybe when we get the shocks and cross members and get the box on it and start building the false floor or something, maybe I'll show you guys how she's actually gonna look. Right now, I just wanna tease you a little bit. So I'm gonna go wrap up this video and I appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know or understand. And I will see you guys next time. But don't forget, Sitting on your ass won't finish your project. Here lately I've just been, you know, bay, bay watching slow motion, just teasing y'all guys. Hiding stuff with logos, telling you I'm buying this, tell you, tell you I'm buying that. I'll give you a real good hint on the one. And she's local to me and I called on it about the same time I, I purchased this one. And well, let's just say, Will Hop Wilma. But she ain't gonna be 
so lonely anymore of being the only big hefty girthy girl around here allegedly has a stuck motor so hell we like a challenge don't we if all else fails we can call Mortsky because I think he only buys stuff if it has stuck engines so we got a safe fall back there don't we